Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. So now we are discussing collection framework, right? I think this is the last video regarding collection framework. We have done the list classes, we have done the set classes, we have done the map classes, we have done the cursors, right? Iterator, enumeration, list iterator. Uh, we have done the sorting also, right? Comparator versus comparable. Everything is done. Yeah. This is the last video, we will discuss the properties file. I mean the properties file. Yeah. To get the flexibility of modifications using properties file. Advanced Java spring, uh, we have the database connections, right? So to get the flexibility of modifications, we are using property file. So in entire Java, you will get the flexibility of modifications in two ways. Uh, you will get the flexibility of modifications in two ways. Number one, by using properties file. Number two, by using XML files. Okay, number two is what by using XML file, right? These two ways you will get the flexibility of modifications. See, I have the JDBC here. Assume I have the JDBC. The JDBC means Java Database Connectivity, right? So in Java application, I writing database username and password. Username and password, right? I have the 10 files here. 10 files are there. 10 files, I am writing username and password, right? And 10 files, I am writing what? Username and password. If the 10 files, if I writing the username and passwords, uh, for security reasons, next day I want to change the password. If I change the password, means what happened here? How many files you have to change now immediately? Ten files, right? Maybe I said ten files. Maybe project will hundred files, right? But opening the file, doing the ten files modifications, recommended or not recommended? Not recommended, right? Yes, no, uh, that's it. And one more thing, uh, rate of interest. A bank to bank rate of interest is changed, right? And only access bank also rate of interest monthly wise change day by day change right rate of interest generally if rate of interest if you are hard coding the data okay so we have whenever, whenever the modifications required we have to open the java files we have to do the modifications right then that is recommended or not recommended or not recommended in the first case database username passwords are frequently changing and rate of interest is frequently changing stock market rate frequently changing right this data this data don't hard code in java applications this type of data here username passwords huh? switch one here rate of interest this type of data take one property file the property file is normal java files normal java file with a extension is dot properties extension is what abc dot properties right that's it the extension is simply dot properties extension here okay so take one property file normal text file with extension is what dot properties the property file contains data in the key value pair format here key equal to value like username username is what ratan and you can take the password password equal equal there password equal to anu like that the property file contains data in which format here key value pair format a property file is a normal text file contains which format are key value pair format in property file all the key, all the values must all the values by default string data see if you take the id equal to triple one also triple one also by default which data is string data so the property file data is by default which data are strings a property file data by default which data are string data right that's it the point is clear in the property file data, I am taking username, I am taking the password, I am taking rate of interest, I am taking stock mod data and all right. If tomorrow if any modifications required, so these 10 files here, these 10 files, mm, these files are reading the data from which file? Uh, property file, right? 10 files are reading the data from property file. If tomorrow if any modifications required, tomorrow if any modifications required, just to open the property file, do the modifications. We open the property file, do the modifications. Then what happened here? Entire project will be reflected, right? Yes, no? yeah. Just to open the properties file, do the modifications. Then what happened here? Entire project is reflected or not? We clear, right? That's it, guys. That is the property file data. I'll do practically. Except you can get the flexibility of modifications total. How many ways total? Two ways. One is the property files. Oh, one is what? Uh, hmm, one is the property files. One is what? Uh, XML files, right? That's all.
ओके क्लियर है दैट्स गाइस आई विल डू दिस एग्जाम्पल प्रैक्टिकली गुड बिफोर स्टार्ट द प्रैक्टिकल एयर वन गाइस आस्क वन क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हैश मैप एंड हैश टेबल हैश मैप वर्सेस व्हाट अ हैश टेबल टेल मी यार व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हैश मैप एंड हैश हैश टेबल वेक्टर वर्सेस एरे लिस्ट राइट बोथ आर सेम एक वेक्टर एरे लिस्ट बोथ आर सेम बट एरे लिस्ट मेथड्स आर नॉन सिंक्रोनाइज्ड वेक्टर मेथड्स आर सिंक्रोनाइज्ड राइट बिकॉज वेक्टर फ्रॉम व्हिच वर्शन 1.0 राइट कोई वेक्टर व्हिच वर्शन है यार 1.0 सो दैट इज रीजन वेक्टर इज अ सिंक्रोनाइज्ड द सेम वे हैश मैप हैश टेबल हैश मैप इज 1.2 वर्शन हैश टेबल इज 1.0 वर्शन हैश टेबल आल्सो कैन स्टोर द डेटा की वैल्यू पेयर फॉर्मेट ओनली कोई हैश टेबल आल्सो कैन स्टोर द डेटा इन व्हिच फॉर्मेट यार की वैल्यू पेयर फॉर्मेट but hash map methods are non synchronized hash table methods are what synchronized so no hash map methods are what non synchronized hash table methods are what synchronized that is only difference regarding vector versus array list hash map versus hash table hash table hash map right that's all guys anyway i will do the practicals of this property file here just to check the screen I think this last video, we done the class from video class number forty nine, right? We will discuss the video class number fifteen, the last video. Good. Come to the video class number fifty here. We are discussing property file, right? So we are discussing about discussing about which file here? Uh, properties file. Properties file. What a property file? Here? This is normal text file with extension dot properties, right? Just to get the flexibility of modification using property file. So A B C data, which file are properties, right? That's all. So to do the practicals, just open the Eclipse ID. <coughs> here Eclipse ID is already open here. This is the previous video example, right? The previous video. That's it. Uh. To close these all the files at a time, just right click here, close all. So let me create the new project here once. New. How to create the project? New Java project. What the project name here? So simply can write the properties. example right that's it just click on finish button so we have to create the property file here create the property file under the project folder don't declare the property file under the src folder here we have to create the property file under the pro project folder this is called project folder right just right click here new we want to create normal file right take the normal file here normal file What the extension here? A B C dot. The extension should be dot properties. Dot properties, right? That's all. Just click on finish button. The property file contains data in which format? Key value pair format. Username is what system. Username is what system. You can make the password. Password is a manager, right? <coughs> Username and password, right? That's all. The data is in which format? Here? Key value pair format, right? the in the property file the data is always string data here property file contains data in which format here by default string format okay so so next one the next one is what i want create the file to read the data right so under the src folder just right click here new i want the class or the class here test class the package is better right back is the folders right com.dss i want main method just click on finish that's it right got it first step is we have to load the properties file first step is what load the properties file load the total two steps you have to follow load the properties file read the data from property file read the data from which file are here properties file right only two steps you have to follow load the property files and what read the data from property file to load the property file first of location of property file is important file input stream fis equal what new file input stream which file here that is called abc data properties right the file name we have to give first of all it throws exception here just just place the cursor eclipse will give the very good predefined support regarding exception handling just to place the cursor it is asking right you want try catch or throws just you can make it throws then once the location is identified then take the properties class so properties 
properties properties equal to new properties new properties of i want load the data right properties dot which method load method which file you have to load tell me fis right fis that's it but while loading the data you will get the io exception on handle exception type io exception okay just place the throws keyword when we make the io exception file not found exception is removed right or reason here io exception is a parent class file not found exception is a child class when we make the parent class child class required or not required here, throwing the child class required or not required not required so no that's it only two steps here. first of all load the properties file i think loading the file is completed right next step is what read the data from properties file to read the data simply i'm printing the data directly so it's out control space uh, properties data the method name is called get property get property here we have to give the key what is the key here username right that's it in advanced java you will use the in detail a property file you will core java may not we will not we will not use but in advanced java frequently use the property files advanced java spring and hibernate property files are mandatory username right next one is what sys out console control space properties dot the method name is called get property properties dot what get property which property are second one here password right that's it Oh, it's clear. Simply can run this code. Just right click here, run as Java application. You'll get all these words, system and manager, right? That's all. If tomorrow, if any modifications required, no need to change this file here. No need to do this, any modification here. Just open the property file. Just open the property file. Change the Scott and Tiger. I change the username password is what? Scott and Tiger. Then come to the application. Just run it, right? Just run the application. You get the modifications or not? This is just to get the flexibility of modifications, right? Or just two steps here: load the property file and read the data from property file. Only two steps, right? That's all, guys. One more point you have to focus: the property file data is always which data? Hmm. Property file contains data in which format? Key value pair format. okay but the property file data is which format always a string data only string data so no yeah, properties file data mm, properties file data always which data here string data right that's it guys that's all about that's all about your collections framework yeah. right that's all guys so thank you guys thanks for watching collections are completed collections uh, completed so thank you right that's it guys hmm? uh, all the videos are in the sequence here yeah. step by step just uh, focus on all the videos do the practicals properly hmm? so and uh, like the videos and comment the videos and subscribe to our channel to get the more updates yeah. thank you guys bye